Hello, I am Dr. Parthiv Shah. I am consultant pulmonologist at Apex Group of Hospital. Today, we are going to discuss about COPD. So, what is COPD? COPD is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It has three components. Firstly, there is narrowing of the airway lumens. Secondly, there is increased secretions of the mucus by various cells present in the bronchial lumens. Thirdly, there is thickening of the tissues surrounding the airways. How do you classify COPD? It is an outdated way, but to make the patients understand, we classify the COPD into two types, namely emphysema and chronic bronchitis, depending upon the different features which they have. So now, what are the symptoms of the COPD? The few most common symptoms include, namely cough, it can be associated with increased amount of the secretions, or it can be associated with the scanty amount of the secretions particularly in emphysema. Secondly, there is chest tightness in which the patient is unable to breathe in and breathe out. However, the most common symptom remains breathlessness and expiration difficulty. Uh, so what are the causes and the risk factors for COPD? The single most common cause of COPD is smoking. However, there are other causes too. Namely, exposure to biomass fuel smoke particularly can be seen in the rural women when they are exposed to the chulas or the woods which they use for the cooking uh, as cooking fuels. Other causes include the occupational exposure particularly ox uh, exposure to noxious gases and particles in the chemical industries, repeated infections particularly in the children, children's and the pediatric population and uh, genetic deficiencies like the alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiencies. Now coming to how do you diagnose COPD? So the single most diagnostic test for the COPD remains the pulmonary function test also known as a PFT. The other investigations which can be used for the diagnosis are the radiological investigations particularly the x-rays, the CT scans. The other test which can be used is a bronchoprovocative test however it is used very rarely. So, what can be done for the prevention of COPD? Avoid smoking, avoid exposure to dust, noxious particles, gases, chemical fumes and treating infections. So finally, what are the treatment modalities available for the treatment of COPD? The best treatment modality still available currently is bronchodilator. So what are bronchodilators? Bronchodilators are basically the medicines which help in increasing the luminal diameter so that it decreases the breathlessness of the patient. There are various types of bronchodilators which are available namely beta 2 agonist, anti-muscarinic and the anti-inflammatory particularly the inhaled steroids. What are the other modalities which can be used for the treatment of COPD? Physiotherapy is by far one of the most helpful things for the patient vaccinations particularly against the influenza and the pneumococcal antibiotics if there are infections treatment of the exacerbations remains the another treatment option oxygen therapy when the patient is dependent on the oxygen it can be either long term oxygen therapy or short term oxygen therapy and the last option remains the surgery particularly the lung volume reduction surgeries thank you